All right, so we've been dealt a pretty tough hand here. We've got three tough lies in the bunker. We got one fried egg, one ball that's like 85% plugged, and we got another ball that's in its own pitch mark. Like, how are we gonna get these shots out of here to where they're not gonna completely ruin our round? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about them one at a time. So the first one, the fried egg, this one right here. The kind of shot we're gonna play is very much predicated by where the ball at, ball is in, a, in that little swirly bowl that it sits in, okay? And a lot of times how this happens is the ball lands in the sand really firm, okay? And it creates this like splash, right? The ball will run up and then roll back down into it. So how do we hit out of it? Well, here's the deal. Where the ball sits in it is gonna predicate like what kind of shot we hit out of it. So for the sake of what we're doing right here, I'm gonna play the ball kind of towards the back of it, like a half an inch to an inch away from the back. What we wanna do from here is, because the sand's kind of soft, I don't need to shut the face to get the leading edge under the ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast it out of here. This is a bunker blast. I'm gonna come down really steep with a ton of speed, and I'm gonna bury the bounce of the golf club into the bunker, and I'm gonna accelerate and drive the bounce right down into the sand. Okay, so my weight's gonna be forward, my chest is, and my pelvis are gonna be a little bit open, and I'm gonna drive this thing down in the sand as hard as I can. Okay, and I got that one to come out decently high and soft relative to the lie. All right, so here we got a shot where the ball's plugged in the bunker. It's probably, I don't know, 85% plugged, 15% visible. How are we gonna get this out of there and not have it ruin our round? Well, here's the trick. We gotta hit this really hard, and here's the deal. So here's my target line here. I'm gonna get a line 45 degrees to the right and 45 to the left. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna grip the golf club normal, and then I'm gonna spin it and get that face like 45 shut. Okay, so that club face is pointed right over here. It's perpendicular to that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim my body 45 degrees to the right or so, and now the club face is on target, okay? And what I need to do from here is I need to, I need to mash it. This leading edge is gonna make that club dig so deep, the ball will actually come out decently high and decently soft. It's not gonna have a lot of spin because we're chunking it out with a hooded face, but this should do the trick. Let's give it a try. Okay, not the best quality shot. It's not gonna be close to the pin rarely ever, but you know what? It's not ruining the round. I got it on the green and now I'm gonna two putt and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. The third one, the ball's stuck in its own pitch mark, okay? This is probably the most common of the three. And again, this one's gonna be a little bit predicated on how soft the sand is. So I've got really good sand here. So with a shot like this, again, it's gonna be more like the fried egg. I'm gonna grip the club face pretty neutral, pretty square, okay? Belly button nose even with the ball, and I'm gonna lever this thing up again with my right elbow and blast it out with a steep angle of attack. Okay, and again, the trick here is to blast the club into the sand. We don't want the club to chase the ball, so I don't wanna come in and have this thing sweepy and chase the ball. I wanna swing this club really, really steep into the, shat, into the sand, and I wanna almost leave the club there like the club's colliding, like almost like perpendicular with the sand. All right, so when you get a tough bunker shot, what we need to do is again, assess the lie and figure out how we're gonna manage the situation. It's never gonna be perfect, but we can give it a good old college try. All right, let me know how this helps. Peace.